Has China's high-speed helicopter technology truly surpassed that of the United States, making China the only country in the world to master this cutting-edge technology? As netizens closely following developments in China's military equipment discovered, Harbin Aircraft Industry Corporation, HIC, had recently successfully conducted the maiden flight of a civilian Tiltroder aircraft. Shortly thereafter, Chang Company also announced that its high-speed helicopter featuring a coaxial twin rotor configuration with a tail-mounted propeller had successfully completed its maiden flight. This news sent military enthusiasts into a frenzy. China's aviation industry appears to have achieved a remarkable double breakthrough in the rotor craft field and may even be quietly reshaping the global helicopter industry's competitive landscape along certain technological pathways. This breakthrough not only demonstrates China's aviation industry's technical capabilities, but also signifies that China may have achieved global leadership in the cutting-edge field of high-speed helicopters. Its significance far exceeds the mere development of new weaponry, marking a shift in China's aviation industry from follower to leader. From an aerodynamic and overall design perspective, China's new high-speed helicopter bears striking similarities to the Sikorsky S-97 Raider, featuring a sleek tadpole, shaped fuselage design, a coaxial rigid twin rotor system, and a tail-mounted propeller, giving it a highly futuristic and technologically advanced appearance. This similarity is not coincidental but rather a natural result of shared aerodynamic principles and operational requirements. The coaxial twin rotor configuration inherently eliminates the need for a tail rotor, enhancing flight efficiency and safety while the added propeller at the rear is specifically designed for forward acceleration, enabling the aircraft to maintain stability and maneuverability at high speeds. Its core lift system utilizes two sets of counter-rotating rotors to cancel out counter-torque, while the symmetrical forward-moving rotor blade design effectively mitigates the stalled issues that occur in traditional helicopters during high-speed forward flight. This technology enables the maximum speed of this helicopter type to potentially exceed 400 km per hour, far surpassing the 300 km per hour limit of conventional helicopters and even approaching the speed range of fixed-wing propeller aircraft. Notably, Chinese research teams appear to have successfully addressed the key technical challenges that plagued the Sikorsky S-97 project. Sikorsky ultimately failed to overcome the vibration and control instability issues caused by the interference between the downwash from the coaxial rotors and the intake airflow from the propeller during high-speed flight, a technical bottleneck that directly led to the termination of the S-97 project. The successful maiden flight of the Chang high-speed helicopter indicates that Chinese engineers may have found an effective technical solution to this problem through innovative flight control algorithms, rotor blade aerodynamic optimization, and active vibration control technology. This achievement reflects the results of China's long-term investments in foundational disciplines such as computational fluid dynamics, composite materials technology, and flight control systems. Some experts have analyzed that China may have adopted an artificial intelligence-based adaptive flight control system capable of real-time monitoring and compensation for airflow interference under different flight conditions. Additionally, the rotor design may have incorporated new composite materials and innovative blade configurations, significantly enhancing the rotor system's rigidity and stability. From a military application perspective, High-speed helicopters will bring revolutionary changes to combat tactics. The modern battlefield environment is increasingly complex and dynamic, placing higher demands on equipment for rapid response, high-speed maneuverability, and battlefield survivability. If the Chang high-speed helicopter is deployed in actual combat, it will significantly enhance the People's Liberation Army's vertical assault and long-range transport capabilities. In amphibious landing operations, it can transport special forces at speeds unmatched by traditional helicopters to execute lightning-fast raids in high-altitude border regions. Its superior high-altitude performance can effectively support rapid patrols and emergency responses in island capture operations. High-speed helicopters can significantly reduce enemy warning times and increase the success rate of raids. In addition, this model can be developed into multiple mission configurations, including armed reconnaissance, electronic countermeasures, and battlefield medical evacuation, further enriching the PLA's three-dimensional combat system. Compared to Tiltroder aircraft, high-speed helicopters may have advantages in terms of takeoff and landing performance, maneuverability, and cost control, making them more suitable for large-scale deployment. In the civilian sector, this aircraft also holds promising application prospects. Its high cruising speed can significantly reduce emergency response times, enabling rapid deployment of professional rescue teams and essential supplies during major natural disasters such as earthquakes and floods. In scenarios such as personnel transportation for offshore oil platforms, 
and medical emergency transfers. It can provide more efficient and safer transportation services, and even in future urban air transportation systems, high-speed helicopters may become an important component of medium to short-range transportation. Notably, this aircraft model was designed with compatibility for new energy propulsion systems in mind, leaving room for future upgrades to hybrid or even all-electric propulsion fully aligning with the trend toward green aviation. The successful maiden flight of this aircraft also demonstrates the overall enhancement of China's aviation industry capabilities. From the Z-10, armed helicopter to the Z-20 utility helicopter, and now the high-speed helicopter, China has established a complete helicopter research, development, testing, and production system, mastering key technologies including advanced aerodynamic design flight control systems, rotor systems, and fatigue-resistant manufacturing, particularly in the field of coaxial rigid rotors. China has overcome technical bottlenecks such as high-load rotor design, vibration control, and composite material rotor hubs through years of technological accumulation and extensive testing, laying a solid foundation for the independent development of high-performance helicopters. This process reflects not only the technological progress of China's aviation industry, but also the comprehensive enhancement of China's overall scientific and technological capabilities and systems engineering capabilities. From a broader perspective, the successful maiden flight of the Chang high-speed helicopter is a concrete manifestation of China's innovation-driven development strategy in the aviation sector. It demonstrates that China is no longer merely a technology follower, but has become an innovator capable of keeping pace with or even leading in certain cutting-edge fields. This transformation is not limited to the helicopter sector, in multiple aviation subsectors such as unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, fifth-generation fighter jets, and civil aircraft, China has demonstrated robust innovative capabilities and technological strength. This flourishing innovation landscape is underpinned by China's sustained investment in scientific research and development, its emphasis on talent cultivation, and its relentless efforts to improve the innovation environment. Looking back from the introduction and digestion of technologies during the Z8 and Z9 eras, to the independent development of the Z-10 and Z-20, and now to the innovative breakthrough of high-speed helicopters. China's helicopter industry has traversed an arduous yet steadfast path of technological advancement. The parallel advancements of Chong and Harbin aviation in the field of high-speed rotorcraft not only showcase the deep-rooted heritage and innovative vitality of China's aviation industry, but also reflect the enhancement of the nation's overall scientific and technological strength and system. Engineering capabilities In today's increasingly competitive global aviation equipment market, China is steadily advancing toward its goal of becoming an aviation powerhouse with firm steps. This future high-speed helicopter represents another significant milestone in this historical process. Its emergence will not only reshape the technological development trajectory of future helicopters, but also redefine the competitive landscape of the global aviation industry, enabling China to gain greater influence and a stronger voice in the global aviation sector.